Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and this is part three of the uh, WordPress widget options tutorial series and this should not be a long series at all, but I do want to show you all I can and get you to a point where you can actually use it in a real world type of thing. So what I want to do this time, or for this part at least, is we're going to use the information that we just saved here, we updated here, and use it to actually update our widget on the front end on our website. So one thing I want to do is echo out some information that WordPress uses. So if we get rid of this, well, we can just use this echo. One thing we need for widgets would be the before and after arguments. The thing we set whenever we're set, we're working on our sidebar, we set a before and after widget, we set a before and after title. So the way we use that is we use that when we create our widget and we echo out where we want that stuff to be for our widget. So here I want to echo out args. Now inside of this, before widget. Now this is another example of the whole variable array thing that we went over in a short little segment in the last part. So before widget and we're going to do an after widget. So we're going to paste that below our widget and make this after widget. So everything within our widget will have to be placed within these two echoes here. Now for our title, we will do the same thing. We'll say before, but instead of before that, we'll say before title, and then we will say after title. And now inside of this, we'll put our title. So we'll echo out, so echo title. So now we should be echoing out our title information, which would be set here to this instance of a field or set default to none. We can set a default if we wanted to and say optionated widget. Okay. So what we're setting now, see, we have the title there. What we need to do is change the label to actually match that title. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Title with a space there. And then what we can do is use some WordPress styles on our input. We could set a CS, oh wow. We'll set a class to wide fat. Now that's something WordPress will use to make our cuckoo book save. You see it saves it there. But if I was to go to the front page now and view where our widget is actually placed. So one thing we can do is for now echo out the instance itself and uh, it's a little silly is there now so now what I want to do is what do I want to do that's a good question the main function of this widget is going to be it's going to loop through and grab our posts but the goal is is to be able to modify the amount of posts it grabs from the back end by inputting a value using that value to limit the posts that it displays so to do that we'll set up a basic WordPress query and we'll get started by setting up some args, some arguments. And arguments are going to be stored within an array, as usual. We'll enter that down, tab that up there. And now inside of this array, we're going to set posts per page. And they are going to be, normally I would say, you know, two, and then that's that. But for this, I want to actually take the value of a field that we were going to set and use that for the amount of posts. And that will be instance and then posts per page. Okay, so that's going to be the name of the field, posts per page. And that's going to be the value. See, we're setting that within the array to that. And that may not look normal because it's not, but it will work for us, and that's all we need it to do. Now we're going to set a post type, so make sure we query the right type of post. And it's going to be, in our case, awful media games for some reason. Now we'll want to use these arguments within our query. So we'll set a query variable and we'll say query equals new. And then we'll pass some values through this. I have a pizza burning and I'll be right back. Inside of this WordPress query, we're not going to pass a string like that, like I said we were. We're going to pass the args variable. So now the WordPress query will grab the argu arguments we set within this array here and use that to decide what it brings out. All we have to do now is set up our while loop. Now we have done this a bajillion times, so I should not have to 
explain every little thing, but I tend to anyway. That is my fault. Query variable and grab the have post function. And if so, query variable, the post function. And now for testing, we'll echo title for each one. That's just going to be some static text that it will echo for each post it finds. But in the while, and there we go. So now the while loop should be closed here. We can separate this stuff out so you can see what's going on a bit better. If I hit Control S, go to the browser, refresh, I get an error. Unexpected echo. What did I do? Let's uh, close that off. There we go. Title, title. So there should be two. Yeah, it's getting two. That's good. That's what it's supposed to do. So now what we want to do, though, is actually go through and grab the title of the post so we know what it's doing. So what we'll actually do is just echo the title. And then I'm going to echo out a line break. I'm going to concatenate that on there, break the line down, and then do another one. Do as many as you have, well, well as many as I say you can, and it's going to do that for us. Don't, I don't care about this stuff right now, but the point is the title's working, and that is that. So if I was to go back here, and we need to make that form first. Let's make the field for that. Why is this over here? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll go below that. We'll just copy this. Paste that in, posts per page, like this, and replace these values with the correct one. This will be the variable posts per page, and how many posts, yeah, you know, just, just how many posts? Question mark. The control S, we already go back here and refresh. We'll add a line break after. Well, no, we'll just make this a. How did I manage to remove? I don't know what I did. I don't know where wide fat class went. Title, yada da. How many posts? If I say one, I click save. Okay, it did not update because I'm not updating it down here. We'll just copy and paste that and say post per page, post per page, post per page. And then we'll want to also check to see if whoop, if it is a set. If it is, do the whole thing again. So we're going to say make this post per page. I don't know why I, that would have been quicker just to type that out. So if it's set, set the post per page variable to the post per page value. And then you get all that good stuff. So now I'm going to say... 21, click save, it updates one, click save, it updates. Does it update up here? Yes, and now there's one and two. And now there's two. Okay, so that's a good thing. That works for us. One thing that's weird is the after widget. After widget, it's echoing it out. Is it closing it or am I just crazy? Did we set an after widget? After widget has a default, so we should have to set one for the theme itself. Let's see. It's got a line break and then, yeah, it's not closing it. I think that's an error in our theme. So make sure in your theme you have a div closing for the after widget value whenever you're setting up your sidebar or your widget area. But for this, I will echo that out, but I'll also, well, no, I'm just going to echo out a, this is just for me, just so I don't have to do anything. Uh, that confuses me, but I'm just going to echo out a div and that should close that off for me and fix our little issue there. That is just a band aid, that is not a fix. Do not do that. That is just for the video, okay? So we have that like that. Everything's look, looking good, everything is working for us.